before we get into the picks, uh, Brett, our producer, sent me something yesterday that I wanted to chat with you about uh, the 18 game schedule. So obviously the NFL is king and they never miss an opportunity to inject themselves into a news cycle right before the Olympics, right in the middle of Major League Baseball. They dropped this little nugget on us so that we can all talk about it. I think it's inevitable, obviously, but I guess the question is, is what's the best way to go about it? I mean, there's the usual way where they just get rid of one preseason game, but there's been some other creative solutions floated, including game limits for players. 14 mm. games, 16 games out of the 18 games. What are your thoughts on an approach such as that? Well, yeah, I totally agree. They need to shave another preseason week because it's meaningless football. Uh, unless you're, you know, a third stringer that's trying to scratch and claw to get a roster spot, uh, that's uh, meaningful to that individual. And they should get that opportunity. But nobody really remotely cares. And if you're betting on preseason football, you are a sicko. The definition of it. I have never done that. You're smiling. I know well, you've done it. No, you're betting freaking Summer League and NBA. What's the difference? What's the difference, Mr. Evans? Uh, the difference is uh, there are fine Illinois basketball products uh, that are on the floor. <laughs> there are not fine Illinois football products on the field. So that's the inherent. Well, I mean, that's, true the, that's true of the regular season, too. So I don't see you sitting that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very valid. Uh, that's a fair point. Uh, you know, very much taken. Uh, I think a double buy format is automatic, right? Uh, that makes all the sense in the world. Joe Burrow has said that uh, openly as well. And by the way, Joe Burrow, look a little like villain from Blade Runner with the blonde <laughs> hair. I was very impressed with the look. I hope he sticks oh. with that. Eminem stands so up and applauds uh, as well. He's been watching too much House of the Dragons. He apparently thinks he's going to be able to ride one of those things by uh, bleach blonding that hair. Not going to happen, Joe. Come on, just shave it if you're going to do that. Go full Brad Evans rather than throwing out that crap that you have on your head. Bro, let it flow, man. I am envious. <laughs> I don't care if it's brown, blonde, red, black. It doesn't matter. I wish I had the locks of Joe Burrow. Omaha! <laughs>